Hello everybody. Um, I am going to make a little tutorial for you today for how to do some basic things with Google Docs to help you answer your FRQ questions on the AP exam. So first things first, how to insert a graph or another kind of drawing into your response. The practice that I posted earlier this week had a part where you had to draw a graph for the question and some of you indicated that you didn't know how to do that. So I'm going to show you how to do that first and then I'm going to show you how to save your document as a PDF to make it easier for you to um, upload your answers. So if you want to insert a graph or really any other kind of drawing, you're going to go up here to the top where it says insert, click on that, um, and then you're going to click down here where it says drawing. You can add a new one or you can insert one that already exists in your Google Drive. Since you're answering this question from fresh, we're going to assume you need a new one. So we'll click on that. Uh, we're going to wait for it to load. And then this lovely drawing page will come up and you can put whatever you want in here. If I had to draw a graph, I think I would use the line tool, right? Um, just make one this way, right? Line tool, click and drag. Make another one for the bottom axis, right? And now let's say I had to label the axes, right? So I would put a text box over here, um, and I would type in it something like hyperactivity. Um, now I should be able to adjust the direction of the text. Um, yeah, we can rotate that text box. So we're gonna make it actually fit the words, right? And then we'll just click here on this little circle at the top and drag it around and you can rotate the box and then move it over, right? Now we're gonna put on the bottom axis whatever label this one was supposed to be, right, sugar. Um, and then we can put some numbers here too. I could use the pencil tool if I wanted. Um, I can, I'm just going to write with my mouse so you can see what I'm doing, but I would recommend using your touch screen for this because writing with a mouse is like atrocious. So uh, let's see. I want scribble, right? And so then I'm going to just put one, two, <laughs> see my drawings are really subpar here. Three, whatever, four. Right, and now I'm going to want some bars for my bar graph, right? So I'm going to click on this that looks like a shape, click on shapes, and then you can pick, there's all kinds of zany shapes you can use. We're just going to want a simple rectangle. Um, you know. Now for this response, the bars all need to be the same height, right? Because the conclusion of the study is that none of the groups had any measurable difference in the amount of hyperactivity. So I would just copy and paste, right? Right click, hit copy, right click again, paste. Um, you can also use control Z and control V. So now I'm doing this on my keyboard just to make this a little faster, but you get the idea, right? You could also draw these in by hand with your pencil if you want. When you're finished, hit save and close, and it will put your drawing right in your document. Then you can click on this like any image you would find online. You can change the size, um, do whatever you need to do. So that is how you insert a graph. That's the way I would do it. It's just with a simple Google drawing. It's a little bit faster um, than trying to sketch it on notebook paper and upload the picture, that's not a smart idea. So the next thing, let's say my response is finished and I wanted to turn it in. Um, you could turn in this Google Doc, I believe that's possible, or, but what I would do is make it, print it as a PDF, right? So you're gonna click on File, right? And then you're gonna click on Download or hover over Download and there's a bunch of different options you can do. I would choose PDF because a PDF, the formatting can't get messed up. Right. So when you upload it, whatever computer the reader looks at it on, it's always going to look the same, which I think is ideal. Um, so click on PDF and then just wait. 
and it will download. See it popped up down here on the bottom of my browser. There's your PDF. You can click the arrow next to it and say show in folder. It will show you where it is on your computer so that you can then um, download the file. This might also end up in your Google Drive someplace, right? And you could have given it a name. I recommend putting your name in the name of the file so that the readers know whose test it is, right? Um, so that was just a quick little tutorial. Um, I encourage you to do the exam demo before May 19th so that you have an idea of what the screens are going to look like and what you can expect. I'm posting review lessons. I posted three for this week. I'm going to post two next week. I am going through them and providing feedback as quickly as I can. It is taking me a while. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and uh, take care.